out to a very special running race here in Central Illinois in El Paso, Illinois. It's called the Furrow Euro. Competitors are guaranteed that they are going to get very wet, very cold, have a very good time, and wind up with a very tasty finish line surprise. Runners love an extreme challenge. That's the idea behind the Furrow Euro. El Paso's Furrow Farms turns into a wild cross-country race every November. Runners try to tackle the hills, the creeks, the barn, and other natural and man-made obstacles. I just love that style of cross-country, you know, putting some obstacles out, uh, getting a little crazy. There's plenty of other road races and 5Ks and turkey trots they can go to if they want something flat and easy. Uh, but if they want something hard and challenging, uh, we're one of the only games in town. How challenging is the Furrow Euro? Let's ask El Paso's own Sebastian Meyer. He was leading the race when he ran into the doozy. The first big water hazard, and he got doozied. So the footing's a little rough, and when you go in there a little too fast, you might fall, and as you saw, I did. So it was a little tough, but it was fun. The runners get wet, they get cold, but they come back every year for the Furrow Euro. And you know, you come out of that water and it's ice cold, and. You know, you don't want to think about it, but you do, and but you want to keep going. It's a blast. It's one of the most fun races around. The course is great. You get to go in and out of the creek about four or five times. And that's fun. Uh, sure. No ice this year. That's the, that's the good thing. It's sometimes in, incredibly cold, and your legs feel like blocks of ice after There's you. the time you slipped on the snow. <laughs> oh, that's true. It did snow one year, and I took a spill. Uh, it's an adventure for sure. After watching all these competitors take on this grueling course, well, I feel inspired. Next November, I'm going after the Furrow Euro record for the most post-race soup eaten. Italian sausage with tortellini. <laughs> I think the soup is the best part. That's what draws the crowd. <laughs> I think they're crazy to run. Not my choice. I'd rather do soup. Very <laughs> <laughs> mm. there. good. So mark your calendar next November, the Saturday before Thanksgiving. The race is on, and you bet the soup's on. Indeed, I think Bonnie and her soup, the real hero at the Furrow Euro. A lot of cross-country races in Europe do have water and obstacles, but it's also just kind of fun to rhyme Furrow with Euro, hence the name.